You know, you didn't have to take it. No, I sent him a link last week. Well, if we don't get to the Yeah, because I And on that day when 
on me. Thank you. We have one more announcement. There is probably going to be a pep rally tomorrow. So if you're very good for your teacher, you may be able to attend with the middle school and high schoolers tomorrow, okay? But you have to be good. You have to be good, okay? All right. Let me have Marvin and Trinity come up, please. Okay, does anybody know who Trinity and Marvin look like? What do they look like to you guys? Uh, Bobby, secret agents. Who knows what secret agents are? Demaya? Yeah, yeah, they're agents. They're on a mission, right? They have missions to accomplish. Jeremiah, yeah, like the men in black. They're very cool, right? Marvin looks real cool right now. Trinity's a beautiful secret agent. Okay, so today, hands down, hands down. Mia, pay attention, please. Today we're going to be talking about servanthood, okay? We are all secret servant agents, okay? We're on a mission. We all have a mission from the Lord. Okay, so who knows what servanthood is? Who knows what it means to be a servant? Mia? Do everything for a person? Yes, you do stuff for people, Xavion. You lost it? It's okay. Um, Keyshawn. To obey and give? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are all servants, okay? Raise your hand if you have Jesus in your heart. Okay, if we have Jesus in our heart and we're Christians, then we should want to be just like Jesus, right? You can put your hands down. All right, if we want to be just like Jesus, then we have to serve like Jesus. Jesus was the greatest servant of all. Okay, he didn't only give, 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 give material things and blessings, but he gave his life for us. That's the biggest thing that you could ever give anybody is your own life. And not only to just give your life, but he suffered. He suffered so much for us so that we can be free, free from sin and death and all of the things that the enemy wants to bind us in. Okay, I need you guys to pay attention. Okay, so we need to be like Jesus and serve just like Jesus. Now, who thinks that they're a good person? Raise your hand if you think that you're a good person. Think you're a good person? 
You don't really cheat on tests. You don't push people in line. You think you're a good person. Now, that's great if you're a good person, but servanthood goes way beyond just being a good person, okay? Servanthood is a posture in your heart that says, I'm going to give, I'm going to help, I'm going to serve people, okay? So servanthood is saying, I don't care what I feel like, I don't care how my day is going, I don't care what I have to do, I'm going to help somebody else, okay? I don't feel good today, but guess what? I'm still a servant, so I'm going to hold the door open for Marvin, okay? I don't really feel like helping anybody, but I'm a servant, so I'm going to help Trinity um, with her work or whatever, okay? That's what servanthood is. It goes beyond your feelings, because I don't always feel like doing anything. Sometimes I just want to lay in bed. How many of you have ever felt like that? You just want to lay in bed and watch TV and don't do anything, right? But when you're a true servant, okay, a secret servant agent goes beyond what your present feeling is, okay? It goes beyond how you're feeling, and it's a posture in your heart that says, I don't care what I feel like today. I don't care what so-and-so did to me today. I'm a son and daughter of the Most High King, and I'm going to serve just like Jesus, okay? So who wants to be like Jesus? I have both hands, both feet raised. I want to be just like Jesus. And Jesus was the ultimate servant. So, all right. Mark 10, 45 says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. What's going on, Alejandro and Noah? I need you to sit quietly, please. Thank you. Okay. So Mark 10.45 says, even the Son of Man, which is Jesus, did not come here to be served. Now Jesus, yes, he was a man, but he was also God. He was God in the flesh, okay? I know it's difficult to wrap your brain around that. It's even difficult for me, and I'm an adult. But God made himself man into the form of his son, Jesus, and came here on earth, okay? So this is God, but in a fleshly body, and Everybody should be serving him, right? I'm talking about not just with your life, but just while he was here on earth. He should have had maids and butlers and just everything just handed to him. He shouldn't have had to lift a finger because he's God. Most, most, most high God. But he didn't come so that we could serve him while he was here on earth. He came so that he could serve us. That's so humble. Third grade, I need you to pay attention. In my third grade class, we were just talking about humility and what it means to be humble. So, third graders, I'm going to put you on the spot. What does it mean to be humble? Mia? Okay, okay, yes, that's good. She gave the example that I gave in class. Okay, humble is the opposite of pride. Pride is saying, I don't care what y'all got going on. I'm going to be first. I'm the best. I'm awesome. You know, that kind of attitude. That's not a godly attitude. Humility and being humble is thinking of yourself as lower than everyone else. Okay? So I gave an example in class the other day, and I said, there's eight kids in this class. Now, say I brought seven brownies to class. The humble person would say, you know what? Y'all can have the brownies, and I'm good. I'll get some next time. Okay? Humble, being humble is having something in your heart, a characteristic of yourself that states that everyone else is greater than yourself. Not that you put yourself down, not that, you know, oh, I'm just no good. I have nothing good about myself. That's not humble. Okay? Humble is being confident in who you are in Christ and saying, that's enough for me. Okay? I don't have to be the best volleyball player. I don't have to be the best cheerleader, the best basketball player. I don't have to be the best singer. I don't have to make straight A's. I'm comfortable and confident in who I am in Christ. Okay? So, Jesus was very, very humble. All right? So, we have to be humble just like Jesus. And if we want to be true servants, we have to be humble. Okay, 1 Peter 
4, 10 through 11. It says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength that God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. So, when we serve, okay, whatever gifts God has given us, that's what we use to serve with. If um, you grow up and you can just cook. I know somebody that can cook amazing. Miss Pam. Who knows Miss Pam Davis? Anybody know her? Miss Pam can cook like I don't know what. She cooks so good, and she bakes and makes all kinds of desserts. She's amazing. And guess what? She uses that gift that God has given her to serve others. When they're sick, she may cook them a meal and go take it to them. Or for somebody's, you know, say somebody has something good that happens in their life. Say they have a baby or they get married or it's their birthday. She may bake them a really pretty cake for free and just go and give it to them because that's how she serves them. Okay, so we have to look at ourselves and look at gifts that God has given us. Fourth and fifth grade. You wouldn't be doing that if Miss Carmela was sitting beside you. Turn around and pay attention, please. Okay, so I want everyone to just close your eyes. Be very still. Close your eyes. Think about what are the gifts that God has given you. What are you really good at? What is something that stands out in you that other people may not have? Okay, it could be drawing, it could be playing a sport, it could be, um, you know, you just love to give, you love to bake, you love to draw pictures, whatever it is, okay? Think about what it is that you love to do and a gift that God has given you. Now, open your eyes. Whatever it was that you were just thinking of, that's how God wants you to serve, okay? God has given all of us different gifts so that we can use them to advance the kingdom of God. You know what that means? Draw people to Christianity, okay? Make people want to be a Christian. How do we do that? Showing them Jesus, serving them, being the hands and feet of Jesus, okay? So we got to live just like Jesus lived, very humble and very servantly, okay? Almost done, almost done. Okay, so when we serve, it's nothing that we do, okay? We cannot serve with our own strength, okay? Because like I said earlier, if it was up to me, I'd be at home in my bed right now, right? But we have to go beyond how we're feeling and do the mission that God has called us to do. He's all called us to be servants, okay? So we are all secret agent servants. So we all have a mission, okay? This says secret servant agent Mia Donahue, top secret mission inside. All right, so we all have one of these. And inside is seven missions. It's very confidential, okay? Secret agents don't tell what they're doing. Because when you serve, you don't want to say, oh, yeah, I helped Miss McQueen. Oh, yeah, I'm a servant. Uh-huh. That's not, that's not being a humble servant, okay? A humble servant would help Miss McQueen do something really nice and then, like, maybe clean her desk or take out her trash or wipe off her board or whatever she needs help with, and then go about your business and don't say nothing to anybody. Just let the Lord use you to bless her and don't go brag about it, okay? Because bragging is when pride comes in. And you think, oh, yeah, I just helped, and I'm like some big macho Christian, but that's prideful. That's not how Jesus was. Jesus helped and served, and then he would leave and not go and brag about it, not go and boast to your friends about what you just did, okay? So all of these have missions inside. So between now and next week, you have seven missions. You're going to do all seven missions, okay? Some of them are really easy. Some of them are more difficult. Some of them require you to think. 
Some of them require you to be sneaky and maybe do something really nice for somebody without them knowing. Okay? So we're all going to serve. So when I call your name, come up and get your secret servant agent mission packet. Okay? Mia Donahue. Kane. Trinity. Noah Williams, Demaya Williams, Charisma, Zion, Bobby, Marvin, Anna. Clarissa, Travis, Xavion, Jasmine, Gabriel, oh. Daniela, Pierce, Nizir. Tiffany, Tanasia, Ziana, Jonathan, Alejandro, thank you, Asia, Joseph, Jack. Malaya, Beishali, Christopher, Sarah, Rocco, Keelan, Faith, Nevea. Landon, Michael, Charles, Jashayla, Jeremiah, Keyshawn, I need you to be quiet while everybody else gets theirs and then I'll explain it. David, Jalen, Gunner, Soraya, and Noah Forrest. Raise your hand if you did not get one. So everyone got one. Okay, now, because you got this, that means Jesus thinks that you can be a top-notch secret servant agent. Okay? He wouldn't have somebody be a secret servant agent if he didn't think that they could do it. Okay? I need everyone to be quiet. Please hold your packets quietly. All right. So between now and next week, you guys are going to fulfill these missions, right? It's very important that they get fulfilled. If Secret Service, the real Secret Service, if they had a mission to do and they didn't do it, Everybody would be like living in chaos, right? We would have no control over things. So Jesus thinks that you're going to be a good enough secret servant agent to fulfill all of these missions, okay? So I'm trusting that you're going to fulfill the mission. And next week, you're going to bring them all back to me in chapel, actually. Maybe give them to your teacher next week on Wednesday. Give them to your teacher, and I will con collect them. And if I see on there that you've completed all of them, because it has a place for you to put that you completed it, I'm going to give each one of you a prize. Okay? So if you want a prize, you need to fulfill all of the missions. And don't lie. Don't just go on there and put, I fulfilled it, I did it, I did it, I did it. And you didn't do nothing. Okay? Jesus knows. Jesus knows. Okay, so we only have a few minutes left.
So who wants candy? Okay. I Have a seat. Have a seat so I can see. Thank you. All right. I want you guys to think of a time that Jesus used you to be a servant. Okay? And I'm talking about real good servanthood. Okay? Servant leadership is what I'm talking about. Okay? I don't want, you know, I opened the door to my refrigerator and poured myself a glass of milk. Okay? I'm talking about serving others. When did God use you to serve somebody else? Okay? Um, Jonathan. Help your grandma cook. Yeah? Come get a piece of candy. Marvin? Yeah, I'm talking about time that you helped. Not, not an example. That's good, though. That is good. But a time that you personally was a servant. Ziana. But what did you do? I need, like, personal examples of, like, an, a real thing that you did. Michael. You helped your mom take her medicine. That's really good servanthood. Come get a piece of candy. Um, Tanasia. Help her what? You helped your grandma get a glass of water. Yes, that's servanthood. Come get a piece of candy. Faith? That's good. Yeah, that's very good. That's perfect servanthood. Come up here and get a piece of candy. Um, Asia? Help your dad do the lawn. That's perfect. Come up here. Uh, Jeremiah, you gave a poor person a bike. That's awesome. God used you to serve him so that he could have a way to get around, right? Transportation. Okay, Tiffany, you help your mom cook. Good job. That's perfect servanthood. Anna, good, good. Okay. Um, are you Jack or the other one? <laughs> I get you guys confused. Okay, that's good. In a golf cart. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> that's very good. So you are a servant. That's awesome. Okay. Um, if you've already gotten a piece of candy, sit down. Okay. Um, charisma. You helped your mom what? When she's sick, you help her. Okay. Come get a piece of candy. Um, Demaya. Yeah. Okay. Come get a piece of candy. You were serving your grandmother. Alejandro. Oh, okay. All right. That's perfect. Good job. Come up here and get a piece of candy. Um, Nizir. I can't hear you. I need you guys to be quiet. I can't hear. You helped your uncle fix something. Okay. That's good. You were serving him. You can come get a piece of candy. Um, what's your name? Jack? Joey? Okay. Okay. You served. Okay. Uh, Zavion. You did. Good job. So you were being a servant to Miss McQueen. That's awesome. Um, Christopher. Can't hear you. Oh, you help your mommy cook? Oh, yeah? Okay. That's a good job. Way to serve your mom. You can come get a piece of candy. Okay, Landon. An egg sandwich. Oh, that's perfect servanthood. Come get a piece of candy. Nevea. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good job. All right, come get a piece of candy. Um, Malia? Malia? Put the... Put the dishes in the dishwasher. Oh, perfect. Okay, come up, get a piece of candy. 
Um, Gabriel. Piece of candy. Sarah. You help your mommy with the dishes. That's awesome. Come get a piece of candy. Keelan. That's awesome. Okay, come get a piece of candy. Okay, uh, Zion. You helped your dad mow the lawn. I bet that means a lot to him, you being a servant like that. Come get a piece of candy. Oh, sorry. Um, this is the uh, cane. You help feed your dog. Okay, come get a piece of candy. Soraya? Soraya, okay. You help your dad take his pills. That's good. So you're a medical servant, right? <laughs> um, Jashayla. You help your mom put away the groceries? Oh, I wish you lived in my house. I hate putting away groceries. Come on. That's a good job at serving. Pierce? You help your mom make coffee. Good job. Come up here and get your candy for serving. Keyshawn, did you already go? Okay, Keyshawn. I can't hear you. I need you guys to be quiet, please. Zion. Alejandro. I need you guys to be quiet. You fed the homeless chicken. That's awesome. That's such a godly servant. Okay, Gunner. You help your Nana with the groceries. That's a one way of serving. Travis. You take the garbage cans out. Awesome way of serving. Come get some candy. Noah. Help your dad fix the car. That's a good way of serving. Um, Charles. I can't hear you. I can't hear. You prayed for the homeless, so you serve them through prayer. That's good. That's good. Lifting them up in prayer. Dejali, you help your mommy clean your room. That's awesome. Come get a piece of candy for serving. Jasmine, you did. Helped your daddy make cupcakes. All right, come get a piece of candy for serving. Ziana, you help your mom clean up the house. That's one way of serving. Mia, Hold on just a second. Guys, just because you got candy doesn't mean you can talk and not pay attention. I need everyone to be very quiet and listen. Thank you. Or else I can take all of the candy away from you. Oh, that's good. So you were serving. That's good. Come get a piece of candy. Clarissa. Okay, you help walk the dog. That's good. Bobby? You help your mom clean up her room? That's awesome. Good job at serving. Noah? You helped him to get stuff when he broke his leg? That's good. That's being a servant. Uh, let me see here. Daniela? Okay, you helped your dad get a glass of water. No. Uh, Marvin. You helped your dad clean the car. You helped your mom when she was sick. Okay. All right, so all of you guys have named so many ways that you can serve. Tanasia, I need that in your envelope. Thank you. All right, I need everyone to be quiet. All eyes on me, so I know that you're paying attention. Pierce. Okay, so we've gone over several different ways that we can be servants, right? So we all know so many different things that we can do to serve with our family, at school, maybe at church. So this week, I really want you guys to focus on being a servant, okay? Be just like Jesus and serve just like he did, okay? Okay. Can I get a thumbs up if you guys are going to do your missions that are in your envelope? 
Okay, good deal. All right, I'm going to pray really quick, and then we are going to get back to class, okay? Can everybody bow your heads and close your eyes for me? Dear Lord, I just thank you so much for this day, God, and I just thank you that we had a wonderful chapel. God, I just pray that throughout this week and um, throughout this day, God, that we would just try to be servants just like you, Jesus, and that we would just show people you through everything that we do, Father God. I just pray that we have a wonderful day and that everybody can pay attention and um, be on great behavior. In your precious name I pray, amen. Have a great day, guys.